بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ مسلح علی محمد و علی محمد کما صلی اللہ ابراہیم و علی ابراہیم حمید مجید اللہ مبارک علی محمد و علی محمد کما بارک تعالی ابراہیم و علی ابراہیم حمید مجید In today's dars, Imam Sahib is saying that the blessed month of Ramadan, which is full of um, blessings and mercy of Allah, are, uh, continues. And in this regard, today we um, continue the series of um, uh, hadith about the forgiveness of, uh, of seeking forgiveness of Allah. In the first tradition, in this regard, Hazrat Abada um, reports that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu addressed the companion, said, that this is uh, this uh, this month is is a very special month allah casts his shade of mercy over you in this month and he erases your mistakes and your prayers are accepted extensively in this month in the second tradition hazrat anas bin malik razan who relates that he heard the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying that at-taibu min az-zambi kaman la zamba lahu that the person who commits a sin and then after that he um, regrets and he asks for, ask for forgiveness he becomes like someone who has never committed any sin when with a true heart with full sincerity one bows before allah and one um, asks for forgiveness one repents then allah forgives his sins as if he had never committed any sins and then the tradition goes on to say that when allah loves someone then he becomes such that as if no sin um, never hurts him And then after that, the Holy Prophet ﷺ recited this verse in which the Holy Qur- Allah says in the Holy Quran, In Allah you hibbu tawabina wa you hibbu mutatahirin. This is uh, verse number 223 of Surah Al Baqarah. That certainly Allah loves those um, who uh, seek forgiveness, who repent, and also Allah loves those who adopt cleanliness. At this occasion, some companions said with utmost respect that, O Prophet of Allah, uh, what is the, how can we identify such repentance, the one that is so blessed? Um, the Holy Prophet ﷺ replied that the, the, it is to um, express true remorse and regret. And this this um, uh, shows that it's a true um for uh, repentance from the bottom of one's heart in the next tradition hazrat anas bin malik razan who who had the honor of um being um serving the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this was a very unusual uh, honor that he allah had granted him he relates that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said at one occasion that Allah becomes so happy with the um the repentance of his servant that it's as if a person um oh sorry when a person um sincerely asks forgiveness from Allah then he Allah becomes more happy than the person who has lost his camel or his ride in a desolate desolate jungle and he gets it back and then another tradition this is expressed in a bit more detail that allah uh, becomes so pleased he becomes he is even happier than the person who um uh, who um loses his camel on which all of his food and all of his drink etc are on that um on that camel and then he loses it while he's in a desolate jungle and um he looks for it 
and um, he looks for it uh, everywhere and then he become completely hopeless and he becomes despondent and he thinks that that's it he's not, never going to get it again and then in that in that state he gives up and he uh, lays down in the shade of a tree and then um and while he's in this situation while he thinks that he's complete he, while he's completely despondent of ever seeing that camel again so in this uh, state he's lying down and then suddenly he sees that his camel has returned to him and is stands it is stand, standing right next to him he immediately gets up and uh, uh, holds on to its ropes its reins and he becomes so happy when he gets when he get sees this camel he says that oh allah you are my uh, you are my servant and i am your lord so of course the uh, he has he has um, um made these words topsy turvy but this is what happens to him he becomes in his state of confusion and his uh, sorry in a state of happiness he, be- he becomes so confused that he starts saying that allah you are my servant and i am your lord Allah. so in this we have been told that when we get the chance to uh, express true remorse and regret then allah becomes very happy with us and of course the person become um also becomes happy in this um, on this subject there are many traditions that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us and is mentioned in the holy quran also repeatedly may allah enable us to uh, uh, to seek forgiveness and repent for our mistakes and our weaknesses in this month of ramadan and may allah enable us to purify our hearts so that as a result of that we all gain and we all partake of a large proportion of the unlimited love of allah amen assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh